Love and light, beautiful people, friends and family. Today we will make a bushcraft shelter and compost. Also observe some nature and see some beauty. I hope you enjoy the video and if you like please subscribe and support us. Another forest fire. Just two planes flew over with lots of water. This is behind Pinamaco. Yeah, hopefully the wind is not strong, so they should get it in control quite quick. But yeah, with these risks, we live here. Forest fires. This was our recycling shed for the past two years, but weather and storms disintegrated it slowly. So it's time to build a new bushcraft shed for our recycling stuff. For this purpose, I'm using eucalyptus pillars, as well as olive, oak and pine branches to make the frame. To drap over, I'm using oak leaf branches and ginster to make wall and roof. For that purpose, I'm using a plier, a saw and some wires. That's all it needs. Maybe it inspires you to do something cute in your own places. Have fun watching. The bushcraft shelter structure is finished. You can see now basically we just have to weave natural material into the walls and ceiling and that will be our recycling shed for the next one or two years. Now I'm cleaning out the scrubs underneath the big oaks or the oaks that's supposed to grow into big trees using all the branches and basically ginster that I cut out after for the shed to cover. I got the oaks and now it looks much cleaner underneath as you can see same goes for here now it's still all jungly you see all the oaks are going up to the ground what makes it look very thick and it actually hides the beautiful rocks and also here behind So the idea is to basically clean all these out 
and then basically use this as the cover for the shade and then you can see all these beautiful rocks again and like this it looks three hours and lots of sweat later as you can see all the oak branches are cut and trimmed out so that the rocks are nicely visible again Here another spot that got trimmed out and hopefully next year we even have blackberries here. Like this it looks in the in-between stage. Some of the oak roof and against the wall is on already. Looks nice camouflaged. That's actually the main intention, that it doesn't look so ugly with all this recycling stuff. It's just to hide it and fit into nature. What I think will be well done like this. Let's make a short trip to one of our small inhabitants on the land. Say hi to the ground wasp. Watch and observe and listen to the sound. The shade is now almost there, you can see inside and the walls. Also done, now just a bit more on this side. Art gate is also structurally done. Now just waiting to put the cover over it. Most probably I use Ginster for this. And like this. Bushcraft recycle shed is finally done with ginster and oak. Very simple. 
and very camouflaged into nature how we like things to be not outstanding with my iron roofs or any ugly obtrusion for the eye and in the same time I could clear out all these bushes the oaks underneath and make the trees come out better and hopefully in three four years we can sit under and have shade Y'all can hear the wind of nature. friend, the bison, standing strong on the rock here. Clouding over the land. Thank you, bison. And after accomplished work, let's have a coffee. What are you doing? Filming. And here we add on another bushcraft compost. Here beside we will place these oak poles. And the pillars are in. It's always nice to see somebody else work, right?
Et voilà. The compost bin is finally done. Now we just attached another piece to the already existing. So that it fits nicely into the landscape and we could reuse the wood we have and the cotton boards as walls. Another option is to make it out of pallets, but that will cost you already 20 euro at least for all the pallets or more. Like this, it's the same function and I had to pay zero and it does look nice. Simple ways of making a compost wood and cotton board. Let's make a stroll. This is our crystal and organ grid. protecting from EMF and also some spraying from the sky and only one week after mulching the ground new life is shooting out already beautiful flower.